Hey, so last week my ceiling caved in and there was considerable damage all around the apartment now. Uh, I'm going to point you up to the wall and now the ceiling now. This is after the pipes are replaced. Now, if you see my photographs, they're time stamped from maybe about a week and a half ago. So what you see is all this wood is all this strong. You don't smell it on the, obviously on the video here, but I do. And it's a very strong aroma of mold and whatever else is up there. And this is what we've been having to breathe in for the last, like I said, this happened two weeks ago and it took them a good like week to fix the pipe. And now I've been waiting for another week, huffing in this mold for the last couple of weeks. Now this is how I have to take a shower. Now, I have not received one phone call about anything after the repairs were done. I have not received anything from the landlord. So this is what I have to live with. This is my bathroom, folks. And if you look over here, also was damaged was the tile now i don't know what's coming through these things this is just utterly disgusting and again i have not heard from my landlord in a good week now and not one quite not one answer of when things are going to be repaired now they fixed the pipes again that was last thursday they fixed the pipes but today is the following thursday and this is what I'm still living with. There's a strong, strong aroma. I don't know what we're breathing in here. This is just horrible, horrible execution for a landlord to leave a tenant with this. And I'm sure there's many other people in this building that will agree. So that's what I just wanted to see. Let me take you into the living room. If you look up here under the ceiling, directly upstairs, there's a... There's a radiator just like that directly upstairs. So now that radiator is leaking. And this is what, right up there, that's all the stains and the mold and everything like that. So this is just, this is the living room. So not only in the living room we're breathing this in, in the bathroom we're breathing in. And the kitchen. This is how we have to live. We have everything. I got everything in my bedroom because not one thing of action was going on in the bathroom. One thing. Not one thing has been done, folks. Now I see myself in the... Here we are in the kitchen. This is his idea of repairing a ceiling. He put one new tile. As you can tell, all these are stained. And what could be the scent of mold again... This is everything. This is how he repaired it. Now, folks, I have the photos to prove what happened here last Tuesday when the ceiling caved in. I have all the photographs. And this is his way of repairing it. You can still see the upstairs to these cracks. He couldn't even put a full tile on the ceiling. So this is what, at 646 Elm Street, this is how my apartment and mostly everybody else's apartment, I'm sure, is just like. Because I have plenty of tenants here that complain to me about their misery here. And we all do because we just know that this landlord does not take care of things properly here. And we're the ones to suffer. We're the ones breathing in this mold. I can guarantee his bathroom does not look like that. Look at that ceiling pile. It's just disgusting. I mean, and this is just, to be honest, this is just the, this is the, about the third time this has happened in my apartment. My ceiling has caved in in the bathroom numerous times, which I do have other photographs and other times as well on my, uh, my old phone. I just have to pull out my SIM card. And put that one in because this is what I'm breathing in and living with for the last two weeks, folks.